Good morning, good afternoon, and a good night. Welcome back to another City Skylines episode. My name is Sports Monkey, and we are back here in my YouTube series, Kelly Creek. And for today, what I would like to go through is our zoning. I would like to go through zoning, and I would like to go through City Skylines districts and City Skylines district specializations. So each of these things have different meanings to your city. So what exactly you know, do I mean by certain zoning? Well, when you first start out your city skyline city, you have basic zoning that you can use. So when you first start out, you have your low density, then eventually as your city grows, you have your high density. Same goes with the commercial and same goes with the industrial. Industrial is a little different though because it goes into offices, but I mean, that's essentially the same thing. So. You know, what exactly is low density residential? Well, if you see here, I'm zoomed in on some one of my neighborhoods over here. Low density residential is for literally low density housing. So as you can tell in the middle of the screen, there's only four people that live in these houses. So this is very good. This is low density is very good for your residential districts. So you do have some bigger, you know, bigger looking houses. Like look how nice that house looks on the corner like it looks really nice but you know what our suburbs do not have a lot of people so that is essentially what low residential is so now as you're starting your city you're going to notice that you're going to need commercial so you have low commercial zoning and as you can tell our avenue is busy it's not a highway excuse me it's more or less an avenue so this is on our main strip avenue and you can see that some of these businesses are just you know they're they're basic co generic commercial buildings like this is a um is that formal wear this is a steakhouse this is glenn's can't believe it's awesome you know so there's different buildings for commercial now it is low industrial again you're not going to get skyscrapers but for example you know these type of buildings you know they they require a lot less educated workers now in my city we are far advanced we are in i don't even know we're in year 2060 so a lot of our workers are educated but um usually when you are playing this game early on you're gonna have a lot of uneducated workers and a lot of these buildings only take up 12 workers and usually they don't need that many educated workers. Now, obviously, as your game goes on, you do need to educate your citizens so that they're able to actually, you know, um, get a job and work in the commercial. So now that we have that taken care of, what are some different types of districts for commercial and the residential? So let's go to the residential side of things. So what you have to do is when you are actually creating a district you're going to actually go over to the district tool and you're going to paint over your district now i'm just going to use this for an example so i'm going to just give a shout out to overcharge egg i'm giving him a shout out because he actually recently went through all the policies so when you do create a generic district you can actually go through all the policies and you can plan out how you want that district if you wanted to have no electricity for heat higher higher ticket prices stuff like that you can actually set for your district now i like i said i suggest you go see overcharge egg he just created one i'll actually link it above um you know that he went through all the policies basically and explained it i don't need to go through that this is not that type of video so basically what are some things that you can do with your residential and commercial when you're actually doing so this is the city skylines district specializations so you do have to have a few different types of dlcs um, in your tool belt for example i have city skylines park life i have city skylines industries i have city skylines campus so for our residential area what can we do to enhance our residential area well what i'd like to use is the organic and local produce and then you can also use what's called the self-sufficient buildings so like for example the self-sufficient buildings will consume 30 percent less electricity 30 percent less garbage but it also generates 30 percent less income so let's take a peek at some of these buildings so if you if you're playing city skylines 
on a console or you don't really use mods, this DLC looks very, very cool. So when you're, not the DLC, excuse me, but this district, the local organic produce district looks really cool. So these buildings look super ultra modern and they look a lot, you know, we j I just showed you a very basic generic, um, you know, residential building. Like, as you can tell that these buildings look fantastic. Like you could see, you can see detailings of cars underneath underneath the garages you can see ac vents on the side like overall like these are very much it's, it's kind of like a california housing so now let's go back to over here and look at the taller buildings so over here the look you know again you have different generic buildings so like look how cool the detailing is for example of these buildings and it's really nice like they look very nice and they're much better let me just show you the generic um, commercial and generic residential. So I'm going to swing over to my downtown area. So over here, I didn't really do too much districting. I did add some policies to these districts, but overall you can tell the difference between, you know, some of these modern buildings. All right, this is a modern building, but over here, whoa, not over here, over here, you could just tell that some of these residential buildings are not you know, they just look very plain and simple, you know, and so do so do these commercial buildings like they're very plain and simple, generic buildings. Now, I do have some um, I do have some. What am I looking for? So now so now that you guys have seen the lo local organic produce, what I want to show you is the actual skyscraper versions of that. Um, if you come back back over here, this is my downtown region, but over in this district is our IT clusters, which that is actually another City Skylines district specialization, which I'll get into a little bit later, but these local organic produce buildings look fantastic. As you can tell, like, look at some of them have little pool sides on top they have gardens and stuff like that like it looks overall very very cool so if you don't have any mods or you don't like playing with mods you know make sure you buy some of these dlcs that make your city look really really well so again i'm just going through the city skylines districts and trying to just give you tips and tricks on that so now that you've seen uh, some of our you know th that's most of the residential that we just went through district wise the next part is commercial like what can you do with the city skylines district specialization with commercial so if you come over here back to our little tool belt of certain industries we have a bunch of different ones we have the tourism specialization we have the leisure specialization and we already obviously went through the organic local produce so that's nothing crazy then there's a no specialization zone so we don't like that because we want to talk about it. So let's just go to our tourism district. So guys, if you saw my previous episode, I talked about how I boost tourism in my city skylines city. And so what I did was over here, let me just grab that district tool. You can see that we have the teach you tourism district that, you know, it's a pretty big district, but what this tourism district does, I'll just read what city skylines calls it. So what tourism is, is it will, tourism is dedicated commercial zoning to serve tourism that will be providing hotel accommodations, restaurants, and other activities. And just some things is uh, it causes noise pollution and then it also attracts tourists. So if you go in here, I did add some modded buildings. You can see over here, I did add some modded buildings, a few hotels and stuff like that. But there are other buildings like the MC Glamour building. There's the Street and Bob's building supplies. Like there's different types of tourism buildings that people are coming here to visit. And it's just basically expanding our tourism. Now I did add a certain mod where it kind of creates a different name to it, but you could just tell some of these are meant to be like resorts. So for example, like this building right here, it says tower of doorknobs. Yeah, I know it's not really a tower of doorknobs, but it is, you could see that it is the tourism specialization and that, you know, essentially it is a hotel and another one like the luxury auto body. Now, again, since, <laughs> since the mod changed the name of certain things, you know, that's all right. 
Um, then we have the silly. I don't, I don't know who made these names up, but anyways, this is all for the tourism district. So people, we have people coming in from out of town, from using our airport or trains or whatnot to come to these specialization buildings. Now, again, if you look at a lot of these towers, all right, get rid, you know, get rid of my modded buildings. All right. A lot of these specialization buildings just look really cool. Look at, there's a hot tub with people like, you know, chairs and stuff like that. They have cool buildings like that. Um, right here, I, whoa, right here is just a very cool outdoor restaurant. And then, you know, again, look at, there is a hotel. Now it's not, it's called Jamie's Fish, but it's not an actual hotel. But again, it's the tourism area where there's hotels and you could see that they're clearly labeled on here. Like there's hotels, restaurants, bars, it's places where people want to visit. Again, tourism district, it makes a lot of sense. Now, if we go into the next part um, of our district specialization, we have what's called the leisure specialization. So I actually just built a custom, this is a very, two, where is it? It's right down here. So what the leisure specialization does is it gives, first, first and foremost, these buildings look really nice. And now I do have a, oh my God, I do have a Hooters in there. But if you look at the other buildings that are not modded, you can see that we have a club. Yeah, well that one says video games, but it looks like a club. Um, you know, we have a gym, Flex Gym. Like there's, there's things that people will come from our city to come do. And you know, essentially it's, a, again, it's giving people things to do. And there's certain, like I said, it's clubs, restaurants, stuff like that, um, bowling alleys, and just places that people now, now, now this is not for tourism. So this is for locals that people will actually um, use. So another district, let's get into, um, I've already spent a lot of time explaining a lot of these districts, but let's get into um, some of our industrial districts. So. We have a bunch of, so you need the city skylines, um, industries, DLC. So I'm just going to show you one of these. So we have a giant forest industry over here. As you can tell, it is clearly labeled. Um, and what, the, what this industry does is, all right. So I know you're going to be like, well, you have city skylines industry. So you have all these cool buildings already you know you have your log yard okay that is cool but say if we didn't have any of the industrial buildings we can actually have buildings that will be created by let's go over here excuse me let me rephrase that sports monkey excuse me it's getting late i think you need to go to bed no but so if we do create buildings that you know are like we have our generic yellow buildings as you can tell over here you can see that those are our industrial buildings but guess what since it's under the the forest industry and in, forest industry specialization that they will have a certain you know it's called mer woods but all these buildings are using the forest industry as you know built they're creating buildings for forest industry to use the wood that we produce so that is just another city skyline specialization district and again you we already know this but we you know you know that we have the forest industry farming industry or in oil so that's very generic um and the generic industry itself um you really don't need to place it down when you start your city skylines city let's see if i can find it um wow i i do not I have not looked at my city in a long time. So when you first start your city skyline city, you, you do already have generic industry and there is generic industry over here. You can just see that it's just very generic buildings. It's not meant, there's no specialization involved in that. So now that you know about our industrial specialization and you know about the commercial, there's only one part left. It's called the IT clusters. So I'll just go through an IT cluster. Uh, let's just read it is an office specialization that changes the office buildings into high tech buildings requires 50% less workers consumes 30% less, less electricity and generates more tax revenue. So I already showed you guys this earlier, but so see, here are some of the generic it cluster buildings. 
So here is probably the, the best one out of all of them. Um, it's an avocado delivery business. All right, that is not IT cluster. I know that is an IT cluster building, but that name does not really fit. But anyways, um, as you can tell, these are mixed in with the Green City specialization. So I just want to show you guys what some of these buildings do look like from, you know, let's see, let, let's actually look at how many of these. So a lot of these light blue are the IT cluster buildings, which are really cool. And they, you know, they work really, really well. So again, if you don't have any mods making, building these or using painting, I should say, painting these districts is definitely a cool thing to do. So guys, I just wanted to review the city skylines districts and kind of create a guide for you on how to actually make your city look a little bit better. Um, you know, and then lastly, like I'm just going to go through pretty quickly. Um, you know, I showed you the industries, I showed you, you know, everything else, but then we do have, well, I didn't go through one of the key ones. We do have the city skylines, um, campus. So what's that? What is a city skylines campus? Well, it enables you to create the campus district and what th these campus districts will do is they'll create different buildings that will work with a campus like a photo parade. I don't know what the heck that is. What is a photo parade? But anyways, all these buildings in this district kind of relate to a college and a college town. So guys, that is all I have for the city skylines districting. I tried to go through the city skylines district specialization. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below, but I just wanted to show you how you can make your city a little bit different. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. Have a great